You have to experience darkness, then you will recognize light. Before you see anything in your life, in your life what should happen? Darkness. There should be confusion, disorder, loneliness, pain, all these things should be in your life. You must experience them. God called light day. And darkness, he called it night. He separated. Darkness and light do manifest in many different ways in our lives. All of us sometimes we have good days and we have dark days. We have times when everything seems to be going away. When whatever we do, it works out. And whatever happens to us, it is right. There are days like that. You even wonder, everything is going my way. You also have times now when everything goes the other way. When you are feeling like that and those who are passing through that, that is wonderful. You are experiencing the process of creation. That means when creation is taking place, there will be what? There will be what? Light. So in that darkness, you are creating your life over and over again. It's not time to be crying. It's not time to despair. It's not time to say, what's happening with me? No, 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 no. Calm down. When darkness falls, creation begins. When chaos, confusion, troubles, and difficulties overcome a person, yes, this is nightfall. Don't rush it. It's God who has permitted it. Don't compare your night to someone's day. There's something that God is doing with you. It is the beginning of a new stage in your life. This is your new era when night falls. Every time night is escorted by darkness and is escorted by indecision. You panic sometimes. And others say, pray. You cannot pray away darkness. It should fulfill its purpose.